Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm out taking a uh, nice walk here in Orlando before we head to the airport a little bit later. I have a have a full day of talking to people, experiencing this beautiful place. And if you notice, I have a jacket on. Yes, it's been cool for the last few days in Orlando, but I'll take it. It's still warmer and brighter in southeastern Virginia right now. All the cool flowers too behind me, see them? It's great. It's like the, like the spring here in Virginia. So I'm thinking about how can I improve the life, the businesses around the world? What do I have to offer to do that? And I'll tell you, I have a lot to offer. Um, I started my heating and air conditioning company in 2000, 2007, I sold it and became a very wealthy person. A lot of people don't really know the entire story, but that's what we are going to talk about. So I had this idea what I wanted to do with my business, how I wanted it to operate. And I had, sorry, I'm looking both ways. See, mom, I did listen. And uh, so I had this idea about how my business should run. And it was based on the company where I worked went through an acquisition, changed the ownership, and the service from when I first started there versus the new ownership had changed, and I didn't like the, the way it went. And so I saw immediately two different ways that businesses are run and created. All right, so you have one based on personality, people, and names. And then you have one on numbers, customer numbers, um, fixed price uh, books, which I'm not a fan of. We'll talk about that in another video. Flat rate pricing. Um, I saw the difference. I saw customers go that had been with this company for years. And I started to understand that client retention was a big deal. Cool place to build right here. Love it. Client retention was a big deal. So I started early on to develop how I was going to build a company based on my clients and my client's name, relationships, uh, building rapport, so that not only whenever I had the luxury of working with one of my clients, I would be able to keep them, retain them, client retention, because I wanted to. I liked them. And it was a great opportunity for us to cut down on cost because we didn't have to keep looking for new clients you know we didn't spend the money to acquire a client and then deal with them one time and then they didn't, they didn't want to deal with us anymore so client retention went up for us and stayed up because we built a company based on relationships based on um, service, becoming service savvy, having uh, etiquette and service, something you never ever hear of. I, maybe the first person to ever say it, I don't know, service etiquette. Also, how to build rapport. Why should a heating and air service technician or a plumber or electrician, why should they have to understand how to connect with someone, how to communicate, how to stay out of their personal space, uh, how, how to build rapport in 15 seconds to two minutes? which every company can give up that kind of time to make a connection like that with their, their clients. How does the workflow begin after the rapport building? This is all something that I have put into a training that we're currently working on right now. And it's, uh, the official name is not out and I don't have the domain, so I'm not gonna mention what we have, but basically we are training everyone in the service not industry as you know it if you google that service industry industry comes up a lot of different things anyone that provides a service to a client now a lot of this is going to be your home service company a company that goes out and performs a uh, specific service uh, for a client at their house or place of business but it can also be where clients come to your shop and they um 
they deal with you? What kind of service experience did they get? What kind of um, treatment did they get basically from you? Uh, you know, did they like it? Will they ever go back? Do they hate your guts? Um, the big thing about services, <clears throat> and you have to remember, a company owner should not look at it from a profit standpoint. So when you perform a service, you do it well. You, you perform your skill, whatever that unique skill is, you take your unique ability and you perform it and you do it well, the money flows. Money's a byproduct of doing your job right, doing it consistently right over and over and over. And it's just this, uh, it's just this amazing thing. I'm gonna run across this intersection here and show you guys a pretty cool back backdrop. Man, this place is awesome. I don't want this video to go too long. And I'm also out of breath, so sorry for the heavy breathing. But check this out over here. <clears throat> now, I am uh, in Orlando on iDrive. I love this place. I love Orlando anyway. But check this out. Woo! And then the eye of Orlando, the giant Ferris wheel back here, that place is a really, really awesome. But in um, AstroTurf, speaking of AstroTurf, AstroTurf and YouTube, or let me not pick on YouTube, I love YouTube. AstroTurf and the internet have a lot in common. When you look at someone promoting their business strategies online and you start watching their videos and their content, is it real or is it AstroTurf? Does it look great from a distance so you get up close and figure out that none of the stuff works or it's regurgitated? Or is it from the, the heart? Is it from years and years and years of trial and error and figuring out what works? My training course, I'm telling you, is gonna be great. Any, any company, any company that provides a service at someone's house is gonna benefit from it tremendously. And you'll realize that no, it is, it's green sod. It's not AstroTurf. When you start to see the details and how much time and effort has gone into explaining certain certain things about it, um, how, the, the art and science of, of how do you uh, perform a service is, um, is something that I'm really, really, really promoting. And I have to tell you something, this is a beautiful place here. Uh, tour season is, I guess all year down here, uh, but it's really getting ready to crank up, you know, summer to coming, people getting out of school. We'll be back as a family here. Um, Orlando is somewhere that I typically come in February. My daughter comes down and spends some time with her, her one of her friends and, uh, and, I, and I get to think and decompress. And yesterday I was able to record a lot of content in a unique space. It was great. The, uh, the atmosphere down here is just awesome. And I'm able now to go back um, to my office and start putting together this great course that is going to be on teachable.com. I'm looking really, really, really looking forward to it. Now, I've tried to clear up a few things in the past because I've been asked, say, hey, I kind of see you doing a lot of stuff on social media. So what do you do? Well, I'll tell you, I'm a business owner. I'm an entrepreneur. And we have a building and real estate company. And within that building and real estate company, we, uh, we sell real estate on the market. Uh, we build custom homes and we buy and sell, or for lack of a better word, flip houses. Now we do it a little bit different. We do it from the class A custom builder craftsman angle. So we're turning out a really good product. Uh, we're not just looking at profit margins, which is, is great. And you'll hear me say this a lot of times that the profit margin is not first on my list to tell you what to learn. Because when you learn your job, you learn your skill, you perform it well, you package it up and deliver it to someone and you do it better than anyone around you, the money comes in automatically. When you look at anything that you do in life with just a price tag and you put just money on that and then you try to fill in the periphery with the mechanics to make that dollar amount happen, it doesn't work. I've tried it in the past in good faith. Um, and hopefully we don't have the sirens come by here really loud. But I've tried that in good faith to say, hey, you know, I want to make a lot of money. But in the process, I'm going to do a great job. Because my belief system is honesty. 
uh, I'm tied directly and heavily. My dad taught me work ethic and honesty and being good to people. And that's who I am and where I am. And uh, I looked at it years ago. I said in a joking matter that if you can't make a profit being honest, then I'll be broke. Uh, but that's not even near being the situation. Um, the, 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 it's the exact opposite. The people who are honest and offer great service and quality service and and, and they do their job and they do it well and they like it and, they, and they, they're offering something to the marketplace that no one else is offering are rewarded financially. And so just keep that in mind that uh, there's enough garbage out here. Uh, you, you, don't, you don't have to do what some of these other people have done. Um, anyway, so keeping it good, keeping it happy. It is a bright, sunny Sunday morning in Orlando, Florida. And look at this blue sky. God, I love this place. Um, anyway. So I just wanted to uh, hit a 10 minute video here with you today. I try to keep them all 10 to 15 minutes, but sometimes they're gonna go long. But I wanna tell you that we have something to offer. At, at, you could go to DwayneCotton.com, pick up a copy of my book, Driven. Um, that's a, always a good treat. You get to read that story, it's inspiring. Um, on a lot of different levels, business, as well as personal, family, and if you like cars and hot rods, it's actually pretty awesome. Um, DwayneCotton.com uh, with the teachable program that rolls out. Our mastermind starts in business, our service mastermind. So if you perform a service for anyone or if they come to your shop and you perform a service with them there, this course is for you, which pretty much covers everyone in business. Um, and that's something that I think is exciting. We get to hit different levels and there will be different tiers. So uh, we dive into the, we dive into the um, commonalities of providing exceptional service and then different courses will actually tie into heating and air, plumbing, electrical, uh, computer repair, um, you know, specialty food shops, um, you know, different businesses out there. I'm out of breath. I think I need to walk and talk more. It's probably good cardio. You can see how bright the sun is behind me right now. Sorry, I have to walk over to a sidewalk and get back in the shade. Um, but listen, please follow me here on YouTube, Dwayne the Builder. Throwing out some really good content. My heart is huge, full of gratitude. I want to help people. I want to help other business owners experience the bliss that I did with my company. And 20 years later after, from the day I started that business, that business, of course I have others since then, um, I look back and say, it, it was amazing that emotion connected to technique. Like I had this emotional, uh, emotional attachment to the results that I wanted to get out of business and out of my life. And I did it through the art and science of service. So be in touch, be soon, check out DwayneCotton.com, see it. Bye.